Hello everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Fred Burke, also known as the Wholesale Mentor. Um, what we're going to talk about tonight is developing a money mindset. What were you taught about money as you were growing up? Some, something like money doesn't grow on trees, or money is the root of all evil, or maybe even uh, all rich people are greedy. Well, how do you expect to become a success financially if you believe these things? First of all, believing that money doesn't grow on trees is an example of what's called lack or scarcity programming. Uh, our parents taught us that there was never enough money to go around and that it's not readily available or abundant. But in truth, the world is very abundant and there is lots of money to go around for everyone. The key is to start thinking that you deserve the money and that there is lots of it available for you. Uh, and then you can start attracting it into your life. Um, that's abundance thinking, which is the opposite of lack or scarcity thinking. And what about thinking that money is the root of all evil? Can you really expect to become a success if you believe the money is the root of all evil? Unless you have a desire to be an evil person, your subconscious will not let you have money. If you believe deep down that it is the root of all evil. By the way, that quote is taken out of context in the first place. It was originally stated as the love of money is the root of all evil. So it has nothing to do with money itself. Now that you understand that, you can start uh, to think that money is in fact good. Uh, you can help people with money. You can stimulate the economy with money. Even the most kind-hearted spiritual person who says they don't need money can do more to make the world a better place with money than without money. Uh, and what about thinking that all rich people are greedy? Well, that creates an us versus them mentality whereby you have labeled all of them greedy in your mind. Uh, you, on the other hand, may be a giving person um, in your mind. And that's why you don't have money, uh, because you're not greedy. Sure, there must be some rich people in the world who are greedy. Uh, I'm positive of that. But there are also poor people who are greedy. Uh, there are both rich and poor people who are very giving as well. Uh, the amount of money that you have has nothing to do with these character traits. Uh, in fact, a lot of rich people got there by not being greedy. Uh, having a giving attitude opens up a flow of money that often brings them more. You will find the same thing. Uh, give away money joyfully to a friend and notice that it comes back to you in some other form. Uh, the world needs to be a balance of give and take, and be joyful both as you give and receive will ensure that you will always go with the flow. Uh, and changing your mindset from what you were taught as a child to a healthier view of money will allow you to become financial, become the financial success that you deserve to be. So again, um, you know, this is just a way of uh, changing the way that you think and the way that uh, some of us are brought up. Um, especially around my age group. Um, so uh, i give you a little bit of food for thought there. Um, again, this is Fred Burke, also known as the Wholesale Mentor at www.theaffordablementor.com. Again, that's www.theaffordablementor.com. And we'll see you on the next video. Until then, go out and get some houses.